What's up guys, NJ Bike Life here. Let's talk about what we do when we're not riding. When I'm not riding, there's a lot of shit that I do. If I'm not doing one thing, there's really like a lot of stuff that, I, that I'll do instead of that one thing. Like, I'm not one of those people that just master like one thing. Like, my buddy said like, why would you want to be good at all? decent at like a whole bunch of things rather than be really good at one thing and I, I feel like if you're really good at a bunch of things then you never you know get bored with the, the one thing that you're working on so when it comes to hobbies like I really have a lot of hobbies like I'm never really just sitting around unless I'm you know playing video games or something or the day is shitty but one of my hobbies that I have is photography. Photography I, I got into around like 2007 or so and I uh, I never really went to like make money off of it. I just kind of like capturing photos like that people normally won't see or that let people think about the picture at hand and stuff like that. Like that's kind of what I'm about. I don't really care much for like portrait photography or like people in general photography. I'd rather do like shoot like a rusty railing or like icicle stripping or something cool like that. I like things like that when it comes to photography. Even like cars, I'll do like still cars and motorcycles and stuff like that. Like that's one of my hobbies is photography and I've really grown, you know, to be able to do all types of photography. When I first started I was just doing like the stuff I do now, like stills and stuff like that, but recently I started doing like some portraits of like my girlfriend and portraits uh, of just like people in general and I also shot a wedding and the, the first the people who I shot the wedding for were so like happy and so stoked about the, the photos that I did and and they were all kind of like they weren't really like the typical like wedding photos they were more like artsy like for example one of the pictures that I took was um of like a thermometer of like how, what the degrees was in the church and then it had like the the bride and groom in the background and that picture I feel like one was my was one of my strong pictures that I took and like another another picture that I had was like uh, this little kid that was like blowing bubbles in the background it had nothing to do with like the bride and groom but it really captured like what the wedding was all about so I like taking pictures like that. I don't really like like, you know, taking pictures of people like I said, but I totally wouldn't be mad against, you know, helping people out and things like that or getting experience any way I can. But yeah, the majority of my photography is, is still life stuff. And another one of my hobbies is uh, gymnastics. I got into gymnastics probably 2005 I seen this video called Jump London it was a, a parkour documentary with the, the founder of parkour Sebastian Foucault and he was talking about um, like the different ways of movement and how it affects certain things and the next day I went out and started like jumping off of, like electrical boxes and doing like all these simple movements and then you know, I really sucked back then, but I kept practicing. I kept wanting to, to learn more and stuff. So after a couple of years, I started doing flips. I started, you know, doing crazier things. And I knew my form was ugly. And the, the, the meaning behind parkour is to have, like, a clean form and be graceful and shit like that. So what I did was... Uh, I went to gymnastics, I did like a gymnastics class. They, they, it's kind of like a tryout where they like see what level you're at. And they said that we were, me and my buddy were at like an intermediate kind of level. So me and him both uh, signed up for a class, took a class and just the amount of drills and the amount of like discipline that you have to have in order to, you know, get better is so crazy. But now even today, like when I go to gymnastics, I go to this place called, um, all-American Gymnastics, and it's, it's $8, like, every Friday for uh, for an open gym. You can just go there and practice all your moves. You can just go and, like, you know, do your own thing. So that's kind of, like, what I've been doing. And, like, 
that's another one of my great hobbies. Like if I'm ever, you know, frustrated or if I'm like ever pissed off or you know anything like that, I'll just go to gymnastics and throw my headphones in and dude, the amount of like of work that can get done and the amount of like stress that can be released just by doing a couple flips and you know things like that is, is amazing. Another one of my hobbies is riding my bicycle. Um, I used to ride bikes like every now and then, like back in the day I had like a shitty mongoose. But I started riding a lot more and a lot further distances and stuff like that. So I picked up a, a 2013 Giant uh, Rebel 1 bicycle. It's like a hardtail mountain bike. And I bought it somewhere around May or June. And before the end of the year, maybe like three, four months, I had already ridden a thousand miles on it. Normally you're supposed to get the, the bike like tuned up, like they'll do like a free tune up. Normally you're supposed to get it done like in three months. I had to get my bike tuned up in like a month and a half, a month, just because of how much I was using it. Like I would travel uh, like 50 plus miles like a day and and like, as long as my iPod was going, like we were good to go. I didn't care about anything. Like the iPod, it kept me moving. So as long as my iPod had battery, it was good to go. And I was always riding. Biking really is amazing in like all aspects if you, if you think about it. Like you can ride, cruise around, have fun. Like I had a pretty decent crew that I was riding my bicycle with. So that was kind of fun. But like, Like, even if you ride your bike by yourself, that's fine. But biking, I mean, it helps out a lot with exercise. You need to exercise a bunch. It helps out with, uh, you know, strengthening your, your thighs and your core and things like that. And then with biking, I, I, I seen online, they got this crew called the Rough Rider Cycles uh, Squad. And I, I watched a lot of their videos, man. So that's where I started, like, doing all my wheelies and shit. And if you guys look on my channel, like, previous videos that I have on my channel, You'll see, like a lot of them, I'm on, uh, I'm on my bicycle just doing wheelies for like mad long. And, and for this winter, like I've been hibernating, like I didn't want to go outside at all because it was just so cold to be messing around in the, in the cold weather with the bicycle. But now that I'm like back out on the bicycle, like you're going to see more moto vlogs too. Or, well, it's not going to be moto vlogs, it's a pedal vlog, we'll call it. You're gonna see a lot more pedal vlogs of me just, you know, riding the bicycle around doing wheelies and messing around and stuff. But that's like one of the better hobbies that I got into. And like all these hobbies pretty much like go hand in hand with each other. Like if I wanted to take the bicycle out, I could throw the camera on the, my back with a little tripod and then I could set the tripod up, do parkour and then ride home and stuff like that. Like that's how I set up a lot of my hobbies that they go hand in hand with each other. I'm trying to think of what other hobbies I have. Uh, I did a lot of drawing back in the day. A lot of like graffiti drawing and shit. Like that was pretty fun. But never got too serious with the graffiti as far as paint goes just because I didn't try to get in trouble. I got a, my bachelor's in criminal justice so I'm trying to stay away from any form of trouble or anything that can put a bad name to me. But uh yeah, a lot of a lot of riding this thing. You know, this is my latest hobby, the the dirt scooter here. I um, yeah, I wasn't messing with, with motorcycles because I don't know they just scared the shit out of me. But when I was able to get my first motorcycle for cheap, I had to. And now I'm kind of glad that I did get into it because. Like without the motors, like it's just so much fun. Like if it's if it's like shitty weather out, or if it's like pretty nice weather, I take the the dirt scooter out, man. I just ride this thing everywhere. And now I'm getting like a whole bunch of people in my neighborhood, like up in it and stuff like that. So it's always a good feeling. Another one of my hobbies is um, playing video games. I really love like a lot of different video games that are out there. Right now, the one that I'm playing is called uh, League of 
League of Legends. And that game is pretty much, you know, one of the games I've been playing for many, many years. The League of Legends has been a big part of my life for a while, too, so. I mean, if it's a rainy day, I have something to do at home. I can draw, I can play video games. If it's a nice day, I can go ride the bicycle and then ride this thing. And then, uh, if it's nighttime, I go to the, to the open workout, all American gymnastics, and it's just like, I never really just, you know, have nothing to do. Like, no matter what, I can always find something to do as far as like going out and taking pictures and riding, so. If you guys are ever wondering what I'm all about, and what I do, and what kind of hobbies I have, now I know a little bit more. Uh, what kind of hobbies do you guys have when you're not riding? Let me know in the comments below, and it's NJ Bike Life signing out. I don't know how I feel about that ending. Zen J bike life. Bike, 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 a lot. Nah, I don't fucking know. Whatever, just end this video already.